Hello and welcome to Super North West. Today we've come over to Birkenhead in the UK to have a look at the old Branch Dock Railway. Let's go and take a look. Right, I'm on. Um, this railway runs from Rock Ferry uh, right up to the docks. Now, it's all closed off at the top because it's still a live railway, so I don't want to go there really. Uh, but down this way towards the docks, uh, we've got a series of tunnels that go under the, the, the town. Um, and there's um, an old signal gantry box which I want to go and have a look at. Uh, let's go and take a look. I'm just going to give you a quick insight into where I am. So I'm starting off at the site of an old railway station, Grange Lane. Now this station, which is no longer here, was opened in 1840 and it ran a passenger service for only about four years until it was closed in 1844. Now it was then used up until the 1970s as a freight depot. Then I'm going to make my way through a tunnel which passes under Conway Street near to the entrance of the Mersey Tunnel and then through a series of road bridges which will eventually bring me out to an old signal gantry and a level crossing at the bottom of Tower Road. Let's go and take a look. As you can see some of the railway lines are still, still down but they're very overgrown at the moment. From these parts, you've probably driven over this flyover many times without knowing what was underneath. Now, it always looked to me that part of it was unfinished. I've heard that this is due to be demolished as part of a regeneration scheme. This part of the flyover has already been demolished some years ago. Now, I assume this is the original cables from the track. Looks like a lot of it's being looted now for the copper. There's cables everywhere. It's well being stripped out all this. So I've come to the first series of underpasses. Uh, this is the first one. It's not, there's another one further on which goes under the town. Uh, got my head torch on because it's quite dark in here. Let's go and have a look at this. Now, but before we go in, the guys who actually built this would be absolutely mortified if they seen the state of the place now, but modern times. Oh, graffiti. Back in the day, everything was dead, uh, de decorative, you know, with all the brickwork and stuff. Oh, pigeons.
there seems to be uh, three three in ways to this. That, that was the first one that's just been in. This is the third one. And then we've got another section here. Not sure how all this planned out, but I'll, I'll look into the history of it and see if I can find some photographs. Well, I think this is the longest section that actually goes under the road. Now the roof of this tunnel, it's relatively new as you can see. Uh, not sure if part of it was open air at one point, or it's just been reinforced for modern developments up above. Quite spooky really, especially on your own. But I'm a big lad. If there's anyone in here, please don't kill me. I'm only a poor little YouTuber. Right, so as you can see, the whole place is just full of crap. So there's been people living down here at, at some point, uh, evidence of tents and stuff like that, obviously homeless people. Um, what an absolute shame and a mess. So coming out of the first tunnel, um, it looks like they tried to clear it. As I say, there was talk of them putting a tramway um, through here at one point. But I believe part of this is owned by Network Rail and then the other part is owned by Peel Holdings. So, obviously, if they haven't talked to each other, you're not going to build a tram system. And it takes years getting stuff planned in these parts. Anyway, people moan, oh, we're not putting that there and all that kind of thing. But they've cleared all this. Luckily for me, Now this is one of the oldest railways in the world, believe it or not. It was built only nine years after the Liverpool to Manchester line. Uh, Stevenson's rocket ran on the Manchester to Liverpool line. Uh, this was closed down in round about 1993, 
obviously with the demise of the docks um, it was less called for but originally when it was built uh, they used to carry iron ore from the docks right up to shot and steel works I've come across this some kind of lockup not sure what it is might have been used for storage or something like that if you know any different please leave a note in the comments Looks pretty new anyway. This is the second of uh, the underpasses. I'll try and find out what road it goes under. Part of this line was branched into the Chester and Birkenhead Railway at first, running into the temporary terminus at Grange Lane Station before Monks Ferry Station was opened in 1844, which is probably why Grange Lane only lasted four years as a passenger drop-off. So in the mid-1850s, the Birkenhead Railway acquired a pair of 040 tank engines for use in and around the docks, and it was not long after that the whole stretch of line was connected to the Great Central Railway in 1896. Later on in its life, the line was used for hauling iron ore from Bidston Dock up to the John Summers Steelworks at Shotton. Hard to believe that this railway is over. 170 years old not exactly sure when this part of the line was built but the old Cheshire Railway that that was built in in the 1840s or thereabouts and look at it today Imagine what this was like back in the day. So it looks like this part hasn't had uh, a new uh, road built over it because that's still the old brickwork. So if you remember back in the first tour, it had like a new section with a concrete roof put on it. Well, this just looks like the old brickwork, so it's all still original.
So I found out a little bit more information about one of the first railway stations that was here, Grange Lane. I found an old map from 1876, which shows it not long after it was disused as a passenger service. It's mainly used for freight here. Now this is how it used to look, but all that's left now is the remains of the front of the building. I think one of the main reasons for closing this station to passengers was that a new station was built at Monks Ferry, which was directly connected to a ferry stage across the River Mersey. Now it was used right up until 1878 as an engine shed, before a new facility was built at Mollington Street. And it was then used right up until the 1970s for freight wagon repairs. More graffiti. That's not very nice, is it? The way people just dump rubbish down here, it's just, they've got no shame. They really haven't. When I came down here a couple of weeks ago to do a recce, I seen something hanging from the bridge and I thought someone had hung themselves, but it just turns out it's just a bin bag. Let's go and take a look. So you can imagine from a distance what I thought at the time. I'm not sure whether this is a uh, part uh, of an old signal box. Uh, sorry about the noise, there's some guys cutting trees down over there with a chainsaw. Uh, but if you know anything more, just please leave a note in the comments. So we're getting towards the end of the line now. Um, where the railway used to cross over the road but before that there's a, a signal gantry so let's go and take a look at that it's going to be a bit of a mission getting through all this but i'll do my best so this is why we had the chainsaw to start to chop all the undergrowth out the top of it and i've just dumped it in the railway and now this wasn't here last time so this is even more of a mission for me to get through Must be a lot of wildlife, foxes and things like that living down here. There's all kinds of holes buried into the embankment. No, my luck, come out and bite my hand off. So I nearly broke my neck getting through all them trees, but finally made it. Uh, this is the old signal gantry. Let's take a look at this. It's still here now, it's all rusted up and stuff, but it's still here.
Okay, so this is as far as it can go. It's all overgrown, but just a bit further up, there used to be an old signal box, uh, but sadly it burnt down and they demolished what, what remained of it. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get through there, but I'll try and get round onto the road and see where the old uh, level crossing gates are. So that was the old Birkenhead Dock Branch. I hope you've learned something. Thanks for watching. My name's Andy and I'll see you in the next video.